Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the general lady for yielding and again reiterate my gratitude for her expeditious work in bringing this important resolution to the floor on a timely basis and commend again uh, Chairman Howard Berman uh, for uh, the spirit uh, and uh, thoughtfulness with which he brought this resolution to the floor. Today, in, in the wake of a week of extraordinary public demonstrations, violence and tumult across the nation of Iran, the American people through this Congress will condemn that violence and the suppression of a free and independent press in Iran. And, as the American people have done throughout our history, we will proclaim liberty by supporting all Iranian citizens who embrace the values of freedom, human rights, civil liberties, and the rule of law in this measure. I urge my colleagues to support this measure and join us and, if reports are correct, our colleagues in the Senate who may well come together and give voice on the world stage of the character and compassion and commitment to freedom that is at the heart of every American. Now, some observers say that America should remain silent in the wake of this violence and the suppression of free speech and the intimidation and suppression of a free and independent press in Iran. Well, let me say from my heart, the American cause is freedom. And in that cause, we must never be silent. And the Iranian regime would do well to note the words of President Ronald Reagan from his first inaugural address, 20 January 1981, where he said, quote, no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. Today, this Congress, in a true spirit of bipartisanship, will come together on behalf of the moral courage of the men and women of Iran who have tasted freedom and have been willing to risk their liberty and their lives to advance it. It is my hope and it is my prayer that this word of encouragement from the American people to the Iranian people will be to good effect for that nation and for freedom in the world. I urge support of this resolution and I yield back the balance of our